This chapter begins with Megumi entertaining the demons after the battle with the unknown enemy. And the demons are shocked to see that Kyo is Zatch's partner because he, he does not appear to be that strong or intimidating in any kind of way. Now they are preparing a rescue ship that is 30 minutes away because they don't want the enemy to notice them, so they have to hurry. The ship is going through one of Goan's portal, a former enemy of Zatch and Kyo and the rest of the demons. Now the ship then takes them to Dragon Fort. Dragon Fort is shaded in red, and the fort resembles Oseron, who is there keeping it strong with his scales. His scales are very durable and legendary. His scales are protecting the fort from any enemy attacks that may happen to it. Now they meet with Oseron and Zatch, and Oseron are discussing Zatch saving 10 million demons. But he saves their soul, not their bodies. All of their souls have gathered in a secret spot. And Tia is pissed because no one told her about this plan that Zatch and Oseron have. But no one told her because they didn't want the plan to get ruined by her getting excited and spoiling it. Now, as Tia is attacking Zatch because she's angry that he didn't tell her about the plan, Kyo and Oseron are discussing the enemy. He's informing Kyo about the enemy being dead warriors brought back to life by the leader of the unknown enemies. However, their objective is still unclear. No one knows why they're attacking the demons and what they want to do after they destroyed all the demons. Who exactly is this enemy? Where has he come from? And why is he talking to the demons? I know that the name of this, of the enemy, is the name of one of the fallen angels. Could it be that he wants to be the rightful king? Or could it be that the enemies of the demons are angels in his manga? It's really interesting because it, it, it's no telling where this could go. Now, after Asaran and Kyo get finished discussing the enemies and their unclear objective. Also, Barry is the one who got this information from one of the warriors that he fought. Asaran then tells Kyo that he wants him and Zatch to return because Kyo has revived 27 books and it would be best for them to bring back all of the demons with their partners so they can have a better fighting chance. <clears throat> and Zatch wants Asaran to tell him to help him get to the dragon, the thunder dragon. Which I didn't get this at first, but now I understand that the Thunder Dragon Egg could be a new spell. Well, it is a new spell that could help him get a spell on the same scale as Bowser Kirga. And it only makes sense for him to want a stronger spell because his Bowser Kirga has been stolen. So he needs something to help him be stronger in this battle. After this... After Zatch asks for the egg, it then cuts into Sherry with her children in Paris. I can only assume that she's going to be the next demon partner to get her partner back. But I'll go. Then that concludes the chapter. This was a pretty informative chapter. It told us much about the enemy. Well, as much as they know about the enemy. And it gave us more hope for a better outcome in the future. I'm excited to read the next chapters. Peace out.